Now, a printer-sized accompanying satellite was launched from the Tiangong 2 space lab on Sunday and took several infrared photos. The first set of pictures has already been sent back to Earth. Let's now see what the first group of photos of the Tiangong 2 and 11 Shenzhou 11 look like. Jia Xiaoyi has more. All 300 pictures were shot by an infrared camera installed on the accompanying satellite. The high-resolution camera started to work after its separation from the Tiangong 2 and took photos of both the space lab and the spacecraft. Uh, this photo was shot by a company in satellite during its early release phase, about 29 meters away from the group. The upper part is the Tiangong 2, while the lower part is the Shenzhou 11 spacecraft. And this is a video clip of the release process of the satellite, filmed by the two astronauts Jing Haipeng and Chen Dong. This black box is a company in satellite. It's on high-speed movement in orbit with the direction from Kashgar in China's northwest Xinjiang to southern China's Sanya, and the white stuff are clouds above the Earth. Experts say it's really difficult to take a clear photo since both the accompanying satellite and its subjects are in the process of high-speed movement. This requires the satellite to have a strong ability to conduct efficient orbit control. One of the key elements in taking a clear photo is the lighting environment. This requires the satellite to control its movement accurately while in orbit to gain the best relative position among itself, the spacecraft, and the sun. Aside from taking photos, the accompanying satellite will also carry out space experiments with the Tiangong 2. Jia Shaoyi, CCTV.